guys, today we got reports on Black Ops 4 potentially having grappling hooks and wall running to replace the exosuits. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Let's get into that intro. <laughs> So guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is your boy, da -da 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 DJ Lord Z, and we're going to be talking about, as you heard in the beginning, grappling hooks and wall running potentially replacing exosuits in the brand new Call of Duty that's going to be coming out. So this rumoured information came out last night when a YouTuber called Qu uh, Glitching Queen, I've been watching her for a very long time, she actually makes really good zombies content, but she released a little bit of information in a short video from an exclusive revealed inside source that has a track record of being correct as well. And the leaker told her an in-depth summary of recent Black Ops 4 playtesting, providing details not yet observed in other Black Ops 4 leaks. Apparently the inside source said this, Hey, it's me again. Got some multiplayer info during the alpha testing. I know you rather have zombie info, but sorry did not play test for zombies. The leaker said, referencing the fact Glitching Queen is primarily a YouTuber. So what she stated, uh, what what the person stated there was, even though she's a zombie YouTuber, she's going to leak the multiplayer information as he was a playtester in the multiplayer. And he said, the game has specialists and killstreaks are tied uh, to each individual specialist. There are also medkit specialists had insta-kill ability similar to BO3. Advanced movement is an option you equipped while creating your loadout. Which is some pretty hefty information to be chucking directly at us. So it is don't forget guys this is just a rumor but it is looking like if this is correct that the specialists and kill streaks are going to be tied into one item so depending on what specialist or class that you select your kill streaks will differ and that could be an awesome take that could go two ways some could be more op than others but, I mean, we're going to have to wait and see how it plays out. I feel Black Ops would uh, pan this out quite nicely. If it's done correct, this could be really, really well done. But, but this leaker also happened to say there was a new game mode where each team gets the same amount of lives. Each uh, death takes away from the pool like a reverse team death match where the first team to reach zero loses now that actually sounds incredible similar to like what we've seen in black ops 1 with the wager matches there was the one shot in your pistol and you go down three lives well this is kind of similar to that in a way that you have the lives but in private matches on call of duty you've been able to select lives for so long now and there's not many game modes that have ever come out that allow you to have those lives so it's funny that they say that and it's actually been in since all the old call of duties to have a certain amount of lives and whoever loses them wins and i think that could be if that is an actual match that could actually be epic so these aren't the only things that the leaker have said. He's also gone on to say this was a dev build and there were uh, placeholders or possibly we will see uh, the characters again. Uh, but a few Black Ops 3 specialists, uh, specialists were playable in Black Ops 4 along with their abilities. So it sounds like they have bought some of the old specialists that we are used to from Black Ops 3 into black ops 4 and if black ops 4 is set in a modern time this could be like an earlier adaptation of these characters the leaker also went on to say guns were modern and similar to what we've used it felt like they pulled at, uh, all the liked elements from previous cods and threw them all in put uh, put put it this way 
we'll receive the new specialist system the same we received the division system. So keeping in mind that is quite subjective to like people's opinion when it comes to the best aspects of specific games because some stuff might be more popular where other people hate like shotguns for example. Some people probably hate shotguns like me but then when they are actually used in the game others will like it because it's a newbie weapon. I'm not saying the shotgun is, I mean some of them are good, but majority of them are like one hit kills, you know what I mean? But yeah, I just feel like this is a bit subjective, uh, it doesn't really give too much information, although besides the fact that he says the modern guns, uh, we, haven't, we haven't seen many modern wars, like besides Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 and 3, we haven't seen many modern guns, there have even been from the past, uh, or from Black Ops 2, roughly, or from the future. Like, I mean, we could be seeing some of the Black Ops 2 weapons or some of the modern warfare-style guns that we're used to, but he also added saying this. Also, attachments work on a t uh, tiered system. Example, Grip Tier 1 reduces ideal sway, moves faster while aiming. Tier 2 moves faster while crouch or proned. Also, every character had a default tack slot and lethal field with a med kit and the lethal uh, with a satcom type equipment that only worked in the general vicinity. The satcom uh, regens in your inventory. So we can kind of get to the grips of like the whole tiered system, like tier one, you upgrade or tier two. It's kind of like the way I'm picturing it is like... Uh, What's the best example? We've seen it in previous Call of Duties. Once you upgrade your tier, then you begin to get extra stuff when you go into the battlefield, which will probably get reset when you prestige. Now, this can actually be awesome, a little bit OP for the higher players and when you're starting out, but, I mean, it's still an awesome system when you're playing the game. Every time you prestige and you start, like, going up in tiers on specific sets, you feel like you've achieved something or you're gaining something from your playing. Every time you prestige, you feel like you're earning uh, the levels that you're going up. And it could be an awesome system, once again, if it's done correctly. But also what he said about the tack shot and uh, tack slot and the lethal field with a med kit. Um, yeah, we're going to have to see how reliable this information is first, because if there's med kits... I don't really see specifically how that's going to work. Do we have regeneration on health? Is that a thing coming in Black Ops 4? Because if it doesn't, that's going to fundamentally change the mechanics of what we're used to of a Call of Duty game. We're going to have to wait and see. I think it's all a bit cloudy at the moment, but we're going to have to wait and see. And then the leaker went on to talk about weapons, and they said, As for weapons, I don't remember the exact names for them. They were similar to what we've seen, but the last numbers or letters would be different. For example, the ICR-1 was instead the ICR-M2, the MP5, M4A1, the KN44. There were some guns that resembled guns from other CODs as well. Also, some guns felt like the Vespa, the Weevil, the Chikom, the Shiva, but they looked uh, a bit more futuristic. For the secondary slot, you could either equip a handgun, launcher, or shotgun. So that is a pretty beefy bit of information to take into account. Now, I am so glad that they have, have been adapting from all the other games if they do decide to do this and this leaker is reliable. But it seems like they're focusing from what he said at the beginning or she said at the beginning. They are taking a lot of inspiration from guns from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 1. So what he said earlier or she said earlier about the whole mashup of weapons from different Call of Duty games. Taking the best aspects of those guns and bringing them back into Black Ops 4. Sounds pretty reliable. That sounds pretty dope. I mean, if they do decide to do this, that would be epic. So this leaker gave quite a lot of information, so we're just going to finish off what they've said on the whole last section. 
I didn't check all the names. I will say though that there was no energy weapons, however, there was a specialist which can grapple just like in AW. The movement is fluid and smooth, climbing over obstacles and windows was seamless. It's like one minute you feel like you're playing Black Ops 2, then all of a sudden you see a guy boost jump or wall run and it's oh crap BO3. Then you see another grappling right past you and you're like advanced warfare. I guess this is why people were te uh, trying to compare it to Overwatch or Lawbreakers. They're designing the game to be more social, where you will be at a disadvantage if you don't gear up properly. The maps were modern, we only played two, one was a demolished city, like uh, with a church and tanks inside the outside of the church. The other map was similar to Gauntlet from BO3, where there were three different sections. There is a beach, ruins and a bridge. The bridge had two vantage points on either side. The specialist gets locked after two players choose the same one and there were eight total. A whole team couldn't use the same specialist, similar to Rainbow Six and Overwatch. Everyone must play a role. Also there was sliding and not dolphin diving. Oh boy, if this information is correct then GG to Black Ops 4. This is going to be an awesome game. I really hope this is not just any old rumor and it is generally from someone with leaked information. I'm trusting Glitching Queen's word on this when, it, when she says this is a trusted source. But guys, we've got an insight to a load of the information that is going to be in Black Ops 4. This is exactly what I was hoping for, a special hybrid between the Black Ops games and hopefully that is what we're going to be getting. Also we got an insight to the maps, not too much information but enough to know the different dynamics of what they could potentially be. But guys I want to know your thoughts so make sure to comment it down in the comments section down below. Make sure to do that if you haven't already. If you're pumped for Black Ops 4 and you're praying you want Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to be the one that brings you back to COD, then please smash that like button. Show me you guys want Black Ops 4 to be decent. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new from this trusted uh, leaked source. Make sure to subscribe and put those push notifications on. When you click the bell now, there's actually a whole new feature. If you haven't already, click it and then select all instead of... Uh, partly so guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video or live stream like a somebody peace out team twiz much love